Hey Collective, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel, coming at you with another video. This is your Friday Collective video, so this is for all signs, nobody in particular. If this message resonates with you, please give this video a thumbs up. And you can subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit the little bell so you get notifications for the next time. Alright, um, don't forget to check the description box for my link to my website, birth charts, um, let you know what my Instagram is, all that stuff down there. Alrighty, so let's get started. I'm going to start with some Moonology Oracle. Loving ancestors, please. These are oracles for the collective. Gratitude. What do you need to release? Waning moon. I'll put this over here, the uh, oracle messages. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. Okay. Now let's get the tarot out here. I'm going to do a 10 card spread for you all. Um, just to kind of see where we're at. represents the collective. What card here represents the collective? What card here represents the collective energies, ancestors, gratitude? The four of pentacles or four of discs. Okay. It's Capricorn energy. What energy crosses them? What energy crosses them? And then the pull for the rest. Gratitude. What energy crosses them? to come out but it went back in okay. my energy crosses the color two of pentacles crowning is the two of cups let's move this over <clears throat> undermining is the king of wands Recent past, we have the Fool. I don't think I showed you the King of Wands here. Near future, we have the Queen of Swords. How you influence this situation is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Outside influence on this situation, the Wheel of Fortune. Advice from Spirit, the Empress. And the outcome of this situation, the Tower. Let me move some of this over. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have Three of Swords and a Challenge. Six of Wands, okay. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Okay, so in your position, we have the Four of Pentacles. I'm feeling like the Four of Pentacles is, um, that is a card of holding on or holding back from something. Um, so I'm wondering what it is here that you need to release. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Gratitude. Four of Pentacles cl clarified by the Six of Swords, the four, the Seven of Wands, I'm sorry, and the Princess of Cups, all right? The Princess of Cups is um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, and then the Seven of Wands is Leo energy, and the Six of Swords is Aquarius energy. 
So I'm seeing here that you, um, you may need to release the feelings of um, uh, like the need to, to protect yourself all the time, the need to stand on guard, to be on guard all the time. Um, because the divine has you or spirit has you six of swords is a card of forward movement so you are still in a state of forward movement you know on your journey and in your life and you're still um transitioning but you are feeling the need to um hold back and hold on to that a little bit more um because of an um some sort of message that was received some sort of emotional message that was received let me see what that is what was the emotional message that was received? Why are they holding back? That was a lot of cards. But I'm seeing here the emperor, the high priestess. It was an intuitive message. What was the... Mm -mm, still too many, please. Sorry. Princess of Cups. Why is the Princess of Cups here? What's this message? Why are they holding back? I feel like spirit is saying, just let us take it. Just let us take it, okay? Because in the Seven of Wands, she's protected and guided um, from outside forces by spirit. She's not in an attack pose. She's in a stance where she knows she's being guarded and protected. In the Six of Swords, she's being guided um, out of the waters by spirit, okay? So... She's being guided somewhere. There is no need for you to hold on so tight. Um, Spirit wants you to let go, but I'm wondering what is this emotion that Spirit wants you to let go of? The hurt, the past pain. See the strings here. This past pain and the swords. It has already the heart has already been mended. Okay, the heart has already the eye right there. It already knows it's been illuminated to um, the pain that it has gone through. So it's. Um, that's where you're at right now, whoever is watching this or, you know, everyone, anyone that is watching this. Um, you're in the position of needing to release, um, release the residual feelings of those things that have already been mended. Um, you may have received some sort of message that got you in your feelings, that got you emotional, that you felt like you may have had to be on guard with. But Spirit is telling you that... No, you can stay calm with this one. This is just, you know, you asked for this. It's almost like you asked for this the wrong way because of the butterfly that's in the background. It's like you want your transformation. You asked spirit to um, show you those things and those people who are in your life that you need to get rid of. And when these people start coming up and popping up, it's, it's a little bit of a, a bittersweet type of thing because you don't, you didn't think that these would be the type of people who you would need to release um, yourself from but um, when they start to reach out to you and when they start to say things um, you get an understanding that um, they really don't even know who they are still and um, they may not even understand that they are um, doing things that is putting you on guard that is making you feel like you need to um, step away from them so um, why does the two of this cross you and that might be why the two of this cross you two of pentacles it's like um struggling to balance out um, the decisions that you need to make gratitude can i get two more please okay oh okay we got three more to uh, clarify the two of pentacles we got the prince of swords the ace of discs the two of swords and the eight of swords okay so we got a lot of air energy out here the ace of i'm sorry the eight of swords is gemini energy two of swords is libra energy Ace of Pentacles is Capricorn Taurus Gemini energy, and the Prince of Swords is um, Gemini energy. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's see what we have here for this. Why does the Two of Pentacles cross the collective energy? Well, we do have two of swords here, which again is partnerships, balance, and um, and such. So it's almost like you, um, 
you're deciding whether or not that energy crosses you because um, when you do have someone in the midst that you um, are triggered by, like maybe their messages triggered you, maybe you received a message that triggered, um, you know, your instinct and um, immediately your instinct kicked in or your, you know, spirit kicked in and, and told you like, no, 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 you know, you don't have to be so on guard. You are protected. You know, your investment is protected. You can continue on in your transformation. And it's like, okay, but <clears throat> the energy is crossing you like, um, you know, should I even entertain what this person is trying to offer me? Um, this person, um, seems to be offering the message of truth of, um, wanting some understanding and insight into the situation, or should I continue to retreat because, um, because this person knows why they're on the outs or, or such like that. But I'm feeling like spirit is telling you, like, you don't need to worry about any of that. Like they have you. That's what the six of swords is here for. Either way, you're going to move forward. Okay. That's what the seven of wands is here for. Either way, um, you know, we got control over the situation. You're good. All you need to do is, um, you know, continue on with your transformation. We got this. So this, um, energy of indecisiveness of, um, you know, not knowing which way to go, uh, in the, in the moment of being triggered is what has, uh, been crossing you. All right. Why is this two of cups energy here crowning? Gratitude. We have the nine of wands. <clears throat> The Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands is Sagittarius energy, Eight of Pentacles is Virgo. Let me get one more please, Ancestors, one more please. This is energy that is crowning. The Six of Cups, okay. So, um, you have been able to pick up on this energy and, and knowing whether or not, um, okay, you know, I have a decision to make like you're starting to be able to pick up on this energy a lot more uh, because you have been working on uh, um, like I said transforming yourself um, I think of transformations when I see butterflies on the pictures um, with the six of cups here okay that's Scorpio energy all right so you're transitioning and and growing and learning to love yourself that's what i feel like this two of cups is that's the crowning energy that is above you that is the energy of learning to love yourself working on healing your childhood wounds um transforming yourself this nine of wands here is not a card of um defense but it is a card of also transitioning of transforming a forward movement with your life of taking action and control over your life of attaining um fulfillment um in your life of being able to stand upright and, and um go for what you know and you knew that um you know self-love was where you needed to start out was where you needed to balance yourself out and the way that you needed to do that was by um working on very hard on healing your childhood wounds all right so that's why you were able to um identify that there was a problem when you received this message or when you received this communication um you identified whether or not action was needed to be made you identified the truth in that and um you immediately went into the mode where it's like all right i've got a decision to make do i or don't i is this person doing what I think they're doing or are they not? And then you start to understand like, okay, well, this person is still exhibiting patterns um, that I've already let go of, you know, in people that I've already let go of. This person is still riding the fence. Um, is this person, you know, with me or this person, you know, kind of riding the fence and seeing what's going on in the whole situation. And at this point, you kind of need people who are either down for you or they're not. You don't need fence riders, okay? Because if somebody wants to um, be a fence rider for you and someone who um, you had to cut out from your life right now, who no longer is serving you in this transitional period that you're going through, um, then, you know, it's like 
you're you still have tether tether you still have ties to this other person if you continue to do that the to the things or the people that you cut out okay why with gratitude um asking why does the king of wands undermine you now we know king of wands that's leo energy okay so this could be um something that uh, happened fairly recently okay? this transition this transformation you being able to pick up and separate energies that aren't yours gratitude may i please have one more for the king of wands king of wands he's a he's a wonderful man he's a beautiful man he's a go-getter well not a man per se but you know in the photo um, depicted as a man, but a go-getter in a sense. Like he's a protector, he's a planner, he's about he's a man about that action, right? Okay, and we have the nine of swords clarifying that. All right. So clarifying the king of wands here, which is Leo energy, we have the ten of wands, Sagittarius energy, death, Scorpio energy again, and the nine of swords, which is Gemini energy again. Okay. So death, as we know it, see in each um, category here, we have gotten at least one card of transition, of transformation, at least one card that um, speaks about transition and transformation. So yes, this is the energy of transition, transformation. You are understanding more about yourself. You are learning how to, like I said before, differentiate between those feelings that are yours and those feelings that are not yours. You are learning how to differentiate between the things that... Um, go along with what you have already released and what you continue to need to continue to release and the things that you need to be calling in which are love which are um feelings of healing um comfort um being around like-minded um individuals okay i'm feeling like this king of wands here um It's just someone, it's like an energy of someone who just um, isn't really in full understanding of the transition that is going on. This may be um, the energy of the person who contacted you. Um, this could be your energy, but um, since we do have the 10 of wands here, which is, you know, 10 is the completion, the end of a cycle, the end of a burdenous cycle. Um <clears throat> It's like this person um, can't um, conceptualize why you have decided to transition away from them. Um, let me ask why this uh, Nine of Swords is here. Why is the Nine of Swords here? gratitude we got the ten of pentacles okay so um i'm feeling like this king of wands energy was the part was someone who um was someone that you looked up into as in high regard this may have been um someone who was like a manager someone who was above you over you or this could have been um an older family member that you looked up to or that you held in high regard or that you respected um, this person could have been a person who was established already um, or who seemed to be established, the big house, the family, the coin, thing like that. But really in the background, they kind of had a lot of struggles. They had a lot of, they're, they're having a lot of anxiety right now because of this transition that you're making. They're feeling like you're making this transition away from them too. Um, I'm feeling like this person um, may come at you with some sort of fiery type of energy. They may not. Um, it's just the energy of just not understanding like they're coming to you not um, in a mean way but it is sort of in, a, in a, an aggressive way um, because the king of wands does have control over his anger but that doesn't mean that he doesn't exhibit his anger that he doesn't you know let people know where he stands and where he's at so I'm feeling like this is the energy of 
whoever that was that was coming in. It's like maybe they came in, um, you know, as the Princess of Cups energy first with, you know, just an emotional loving message. And then it transitioned into this King of Wands energy where it's like, look here. You know, I don't understand. Like, this is bothering me. This is giving me Ten of, ten of Wands energy. This is like, you know, I, I need to put this burden down. I need to understand why you're doing this. Where um, the energy that is crowning you with the, is the Nine of Wands. So it's like, um, you know, you're attaining fulfillment with learning how to protect yourself and learning how to transition into a position where you... Um, um, no longer have to worry about or deal with those things that are mind-boggling to this uh, whoever has this King of Wands energy that is undermining you. It's like they're undermining your um, process, undermining your transition. Um, it, it's like they're not taking it seriously, and that may be the reason why you just kind of can't incorporate this person into this transition at this moment. This is um, still forward movement, so it's not to say that you won't incorporate this person. This could be a family member. Um, or a close friend or, or whatever, I don't know, somebody, you know, we all have free will to bring people in and out of our life as you please. But um, this may be someone who's close that you're just like, you know, I just can't do this right now. And they're not understanding, but it is re a revelation in a sense because it is showing people's true colors. Um, I see here in the recent past, you do have the fool. So this is something that happened recently. You may have decided to um, take a chance on, um, you know and listen to spirit and it's like you know well i don't understand why i need to cut this person off but then you start getting clues and hints and um you start understanding little things within your transition and you start um thinking back and remembering you know and you become tra you became transparent with yourself here in the recent past all right so the fool is clarified by the king of pentacles the prince of pentacles and the prince of wands okay so the Prince of Wands is this impulsive in and out player type of energy, while the Prince of Pentacles is more of a stable um, type of energy that is coming in. And the King of Pentacles is also a stable type of energy that is coming in. So I'm um, feeling like this Fool is here. Now the Fool, um, as we know it, is, um, I want to say it's like Aquarius energy or something like that. I can't remember. But, um, no, the fool is impulsive, just like the Prince of Wands, but the fool has a mission to go on. The fool is at the very beginning of a mission after, um, you know, ending one cycle before. The fool is the beginning, is zero, and the end is 21. I believe that is, you know, the world. So, this fool is starting on a new journey. You know, they're learning everything about themselves. They're being transparent with themselves. You know, they're um, listening to their instinct, listening to their intuition, understanding what types of things are for them and, and contribute to their stability to, to get them in this King of Pentacles status. And what type of things are more Prince of Wands energy, that more flighty player type of energy. Um, Prince of Wands is uh, Sagittarius energy. I don't know if I said that before. But yeah, this could have been something that happened um, recently, this past spring. I'm seeing we have a lot of fire energy out here, which um, does speak to the springtime. Um, and this could have been a transition that started last um, last autumn, okay, or last winter, because like I said, we have a lot of um, air and pentacles out here as well, air and earth. So this could have been something, a transition that started last year. You started to see certain things. You started to notice certain things. Um, spirits started to give you little hints about certain things. So it made this decision, this um, energy that's crossing you, this Two of Pentacles energy that's crossing you, it made this decision fairly easy because you're, you, like I said, this Ace of Discs is here clarifying that um, it made you see like, um, okay, this is either a choice between my stability and um my you know and instability you know this is a choice of balance and for you it's, it's starting to become an easy choice now you're choosing your healing you're choosing your um to heal your childhood wounds to to heal yourself to love yourself you're choosing that first you're finally choosing yourself first which is what you've been needing this whole time um in the near future we have queen of swords energy why do we have Queen of Swords energy here for the near future, please? 
ancestors. Clarify Queen of Swords energy in the near future. Queen of Swords clarified by Five of Swords. The Sun. Let me move this because y'all might be getting a face full of smoke from my incense. Okay, so like I said, um, Queen of Swords clarified by the Sun. That's Leo energy. Five of Swords, which is Aquarius energy. And Three of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. Okay. So I'm seeing here in the near future, you continue to make um, these head over heart decisions. You continue to find yourself, um, as you do make these head over heart decisions, you continue to find yourself being illuminated um, to certain things and behavior patterns of people who have been coming together. Um, you understand who, you're gonna um, gain clarity on who is there for your happiness and who isn't there for your happiness, who is there to pretty much just um, five of swords energy <laughs> basically we all know the five of swords is like that energy of um wanting to come in and have small victories but at the expense of someone else um so it's like um you know you 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 will definitely continue to like i said make those head over heart decisions and be able to discern um between who you should be collaborating with because three of pentacles is like a community collaboration card um groups um expressing so who you can you know who you can and cannot express your truth to and who just isn't ready for the truth you know some people just can't handle the truth yet so you know when to come in with that and you know who's just going to reveal um themselves reveal the instability within themselves reveal the instability within the groups um, maybe that have formed against you um, during your transition during your time um, because we can't always uh, I, don't, I don't even know if we are supposed to but go on um, journeys with anybody these journeys that we go on um, and these transitions that we have to make are for ourselves I can't go on a journey and transition somebody else in the middle of my journey what's for me is for me okay so it's like you can't take any and everybody with you. There are going to be people that are going to be placed on this journey by spirit for you to um, to have as your spirit family and to have as support, you know, because I always find that when I receive um, messages from that, you know, that may not be conducive to my situation or maybe um, something that is of low vibing, I always receive at least three, four, five six more messages that are of total opposite okay so here in the uh, position of the energy that you contribute to this situation how do you contribute to um, what's going on here uh, we have the seven of Pentacles so y'all know what that is that's my card for mine in the business that pays you all right so why is the seven of Pentacles here clarified by the six of cups the eight of Pentacles or eight of discs and one more please Oh, we got a few more. Let me go ahead and get those. But as I'm grabbing these, um, let me tell you what I feel like it's saying. Okay, we had the um, it's same thing that we had pop out over here, but with the Fool. We had the Prince of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Prince of Pentacles. Okay, so you are working on yourself. You're gonna, you're continuing to um mind the business that pays you that seven of pentacles card is my card for minding the business that pays you you continue to work on self um working really hard on self working really hard on um healing those childhood wounds discovering yourself learning to love yourself um learning not to doubt yourself when you make certain decisions about people um, learning to understand which decisions are healthy. You're learning about um, healthy boundaries. You're learning about healthy boundaries. You're learning that you are good enough, that the decisions that you make are good enough. That, um, excuse me, you're learning to um, understand um, what is gaslighting and what isn't gaslighting. You're learning the different forms of gaslighting. 
Okay. So King of Discs, you're you are um, just working your way to your King of Pentacles status. King of Pentacles is a Taurus energy. So you or someone in your energetic field could be an Earth sign. Um, because we did have a lot of pentacles coming out here, uh, earth, air, or fire. Um, we did have a little bit of cups, I'm not going to lie. We got the six of cups out here, which we know is Scorpio. Scorpio has popped out here a bunch of times. We had the death card and um, <clears throat> and such. But um, yeah, so it's like you're just working on yourself. Um, you're working on your transformation. You're working on your stability. You're working on your finances. You're working on your home. You're just and home, I mean like your body, you may be getting healthier, um, just working on self. So uh, that's wonderful. Outside influences, the Wheel of Fortune. So Wheel of Fortune is, um, yeah, that's, that's also number 10, which is the end of cycle, which is completion. So the outside influences are, um, you know, the, uh, you completing and ending cycles with people. We have the Eight of Swords, clarifying that, and the Princess of Cups. So you ending cycles of people just coming into your life. Um, yeah, and finding the truth, okay? You, you um, getting on to new... Um, how do I want to say this? Um, you're, you're ending cycles of uh, being bound by the things that people have said before, by being bound um, by people who want to play with your emotions. And you're heading towards um, the new energy, this new cycle of truth, okay? There is um, a newness that is coming in, a new type of energy that is coming in from the outside. Um, that is um, having you to continue um, to work on self, um, this quest for truth, this quest for self, this quest for self-love, and um, it, it is what is moving you forward and is what is pushing you forward. And um, you are looking forward to the newness in life. Um, you know, you are looking forward to this renewal of energy, this renewal of spirit that you have coming in. You're holding on to your vision um, that you've had from the beginning. What is the uh, advice from spirit? Why is the Empress here for the advice from spirit? Why is the Empress here for the advice from spirit? Strength. Five of Cups. Ten of this. Yes, five of cups. Look at how it is in this deck. Ten of this. And strength. I feel like the advice from spirit is um, just saying that, you know, we are here um, for you. Um, you are embodying this, um, you know, continue to, to go forward and embody this empress energy, um, a move forward in your um, planning, nurturing your ideas, and being a great communicator, um, and having the strength and passion to create um, new things and new life. Um, um, you know, having control over your emotions. Um, I'm seeing five of cups here is uh, here because. It's something that you do now have control over, okay? This Empress energy, I'm, I'm feeling like um, all three of these cards are why you embody this Empress energy. You are strong. Uh, you have walked away from things that no longer serve you. Um, you're not crying over spilled milk. You're not letting trivial things get to you. You know that you have um, full cups beside you and that have your back, okay? You have the intuition, as the Empress has. You you know what you have to do to get to this um, Ten of Pentacles energy. The peacock is also a animal of transformation, of transition. So um, I feel like the divine is saying, you know, use your Queen of Swords um, tongue right now. Continue to find out the truth. Continue to go on this mission of your path of renewal and um, end out these cycles because... Um, 
you you are moving forward um, and and being guided to move forward to your um, to materialize your um, fruition your manifestations okay and to clarify the tower here we have the high priestess and the tower is a powerful realization or event so what is this powerful realization or event and the outcome it's like you've already been illuminated to and you know what's going to happen <laughs> ace of pentacles abundance coming in a gift you have a gift um, maybe your gifts might enhance um, due to this maybe this is helping your gifts to enhance by you being able to discern and separate between um, those who have genuine feeling and um, you know are there for you through this journey and those who are just you know here to have a good time here to talk slick here to pretty much just see what's going on to mind your business since you're minding the business that's paying you they want to come and mind your business you are you have the ability to assess and reflect on that and we have the magician here so we the magician the high priestess sees everything that the magician does so i feel like in this tower moment in the outcome this um outcome or this powerful realization or this powerful event is basically going to be um your manifestation literally materializing um from your thoughts you as we all know the magician has the stance of as above so below so what you've brought into fruition is is being materialized on this earth um, that's what this ace of Pentacles is this is your gift your fruition um, what what you are that's materializing this is um, something that has been materialized in the 3d and as the high priestess is either you're using your intuition to um, bring this in okay um, in, in partnership with um, manifestation, um, doing candle work, doing your manifestations and things like that, or um, you you know you intuitively can see um, when these things are coming in. Um, yeah, so um, it looks here like with the outcome being that um, High Priestess, Ace of Pentacles, the Magician, all clarifying the Tower, um, what is this tower moment? The tower moment is um, you walking away from everything about you mastering an accomplishment and accomplishing, taking the action of leaving everything behind that, do, that no longer serves you. That is how you pulled in this tower. That is how you pulled, you were able to materialize um, the things that you have been uh, manifesting and you know this intuitively uh, via the high priestess energy that you hold um, that you have um, in this tower so you kind of know what's coming up right behind that we have the nine of cups okay um, wish fulfillment coming in right behind that we have the hermit you know the hermit goes on that journey the hermit knows what they have to do the hermit is illuminated to their path okay so you know what you have to do you know um, Two of Wands here, you know I keep all my cards upright, but this one was here in the reverse position. So it's like you have already been illuminated. You know what you have to do. You have clarity on these things. Um, all this hurtful, sneaky um, stuff that may be going on behind your back. You know, people playing with your emotions and such. Those things um, um, have been judged already um, by the divine. The divine has your back. You are protected with that. You don't have to worry about that. These things that are like this are behind you. They have been put behind you. Um, look at this. No longer up in your head about the conflict. All of that has been put behind you. Um, the divine has already cast judgment. Judgment has been cast here. Okay. So you can go on and do what it is that you need to do and live your life. All right. So thank you for spending some time with me, Collective. Again, please check out the description box. Let me go ahead and clarify this challenge for you, which is the Six of Wands. Why is the victory the challenge? Why is the victory the challenge? Why is the victory the challenge? Strength. Which is Leo energy. The Six of Wands, which is also Leo energy. I just saw the higher fan, higher levels of commitment. Taurus energy. 
Why is the Six of Wands here? Temperance. And the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, your... Um, the Six of Wands is here to get to your victory. It's here as um, a challenge because, um, you know, you're having to stay strong. You're having to, to know how to balance out the energies of... Um, when to come in strong and when to just use all of your emotion that loving energy um, but you do have this ace of cups here which is um, you know embodies all of that emotional intuitive energy so you know what to do to get to the six of wands it is um, the challenge but it is not uh, your particular challenge that is holding you down um, it's just a challenge as in um, you, you have to put in a little bit of work to get there um, you have to know how to balance um, being grounded and being fluid and, and standing your strength as you do so all right collective so um go ahead and continue releasing the things that you need to release hold on to your vision know that you are good enough um don't let nobody take you down don't let nobody hold you down um and you got this you're good like we've had a, a lot of intuitive things out here so you know you guys are getting gut feelings um so all right I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and um, wow, I didn't know this video was that long. Oh my goodness. All right. So I might take a break tomorrow. I don't know, <laughs> but all right, you guys, peace.